there's a play all throughout the project between things that happen in the studio that affect the things that I see out in the real world and then the things that I pick up from the world and bring into the studio obviously then affect what happens in the studio which then affects the next day out in the real world so there's this constant evolution through the project. My friend Ted gave me these photographs. I had them around for about a year without really thinking about them too much. They were just sort of in the back of my head. I definitely didn't think of them as a project at that point, but they slowly started to uh, grow in my subconscious. And I found a lot of relationships between my pictures and these mushroom pictures. Silhouettes, shadows, optical illusions, object as fetish, the idea of collections. So we spent about a year putting this book together, which is a mixture of the found photographs of mushrooms and my own photographs, and a text that I wrote that sort of links the two elements. The exhibition starts in the Perlman Gallery in this room with a group of images uh, juxtaposing some old found photographs of mushrooms with my own photographs. The mushrooms then start to leave this gallery and, and move around the museum. And they sort of start to grow in other galleries in the museum. Every image in the book is numbered 1 to 110. And then as we started uh, the installations, every new item to the collection was also assigned a number. The number relates to the overall project of the mushroom collection. And each of these items has a place within that project. There's a quote that I love from Samuel Beckett, which says that to find a form that accommodates the mess, that is the task of the artist now. And I found that quote really appropriate to this project. From, on all levels, it's sort of creating maximum mess and then somehow finding a form that makes it all make sense.